In storytelling, there is a construct called the unreliable narrator. This is when the writer uses a character that is compromised in some way, for whom trust is a question, for whom honesty is a question. That is what we have here. Four people died in that house on Wonderland Avenue. Over the years, there were three different murder trials, but no one was ever convicted of murder. The full truth is not known. We can talk to the investigators, and in the course of our episodes, we certainly will. But they came after the fact. We want to start instead with an insider, someone there at the beginning, before there was murder. And that would be Scott Thorson, a man who says he witnessed the planning of the massacre on Wonderland Avenue. But he is compromised, compromised by fame and infamy, by drug addiction and criminal record, by his own motives in speaking the truth, and his burning desire for redemption. These are the classic underpinnings of an unreliable narrator. It will be up to us to check the facts and seek that hidden truth. My advice to the listener is to buckle up. The ride is going to get bumpy. Here are just two views of Scott Thorson from people who knew him well, the investigators of the Wonderland murders. There's this take. The the, the challenge is to corroborate what these snitches and these people say. It's not always easy. And in Scott's case, it was very difficult because he embellishes everything he says. And then there's this take. I believe everything he told me. And maybe, you know, either he is one of the best liars in the world, but he came across to me like he was being very honest and sincere with us in what he was telling us. Even though I've had other people, you know, especially the attorneys, the defense attorneys, saying, you guys can't see through this guy, he's lying. I go, no, I don't think he's lying at all. You may already know the name Scott Thorson. After all, he was played in a movie by Matt Damon to Michael Douglas's award-winning turn as Liberace. But that was a story that happened before Wonderland. That was before Thorson's fame turned into infamy 